accounts are also stories, right? Uh, they're the stories we tell about who we are, about the immigrants who came and built this place, you know, came from Italy, brought the marble over, whatever it is that they did that become the, the history of this place that say something about who we are, or at least who we used to be. Uh, but there, the stories that we tell are also the big, important theological stories, the biblical stories that shape who we are together as a community. And one of the things you learn, of course, is that different uh, communities go to different places in the theological canon, in the uh, canon of scripture, in the pantheon of saints. There are different pieces of those major stories that are important to different communities. So listening to stories, unsettling those settled accounts. Uh, one of the things you can do is appoint a, a jargon uh, measurer, inventorier. Uh, have somebody who's, in, whose job it is for a month to be in meetings, jotting down all the times when somebody uses some term that might not be just common li lingo to everybody. Uh, you can do one-on-ones, um, borrow from the uh, community organizing folks, uh, have people do what you guys just did uh, in the uh, breakouts before we went to break. Actually, create opportunities for people to tell each other their stories. Uh, which means that you do have to invite people into places other than just the pews in mass on Sunday morning. Uh, they have to meet somewhere other than in the parking lot as one group is coming and another group is going. Uh, you have to get intentional about in cre creating these places where the different cultures can begin uh, to know each other. So. Third A, activities. And for parishes, of course, those activities are of various kinds. They're activities that uh, have to do with our spiritual life, activities that have to do with how we build community, activities of engaging in service, and committee meetings. Um, you know, with spiritual activities, spiritual work that we do together, uh, beginning to really get serious about thinking about how, how do people feel close to God? What are the things we do that for different groups of people in the parish are the, the places of connection? Is it the music? Is it the prayers? Is it coffee hour? You know, is it something else that is the place where people are finding that sense of connection to God? Uh, and one of the things you're going to want to do if you're going to unsettle the culture uh, is experiment a little bit with how those connections are getting made and then be willing to be light on your feet. <laughs>